Now one of the things that I love the most about Photoshop is how it allows us to manipulate certain areas and do certain things um, to just a little spot. And so we're going to play with this just a little bit here and I want to show you some really, really cool things that uh, I think you'll like a lot. So over here on the side toolbar, um, there are a lot of different selection tools and what I can do is I can select this image right here and come down here and let's just do something dramatic for a second and do my levels. And this is cool. I mean, obviously the image looks horrible, but do you see what's happening here? Is that selection that I very quickly drag out, um, it's only applying to that space. So I could do some cool effects that way and uh, be able to um, manipulate. So, so the idea again is we're just manipulating a part of the project here. and and you can see right here what's happening is this little guy right here is being added it's called a layer mask and what the layer masks do is it allows us to hide and show part of a layer if I went in I could for example let's say I wanted to um, get rid of this sky a little bit here I could hit E for the eraser tool right over there and I'm just gonna go in and drag this out a little bit what I'm doing right now is now when I zoom in really far and I to the point that I can see the pixels. When I scroll up, oh come on, where are you? It's in here, I promise. There it is. See how there's nothing there? Pixels are just gone. I have erased them. Um, I have, so to speak, drawn with permanent marker on my image. Um, kind of like when my son decided that it'd be a great idea to write Brandon Spot in marker on the leather in the suburban, and. Uh, even after we traded it in, we could not get the permanent marker out. And so someone to this day is driving around with Brandon's spot in the Suburban. Um, but the idea is happening here, that we've completely ruined that, and I can never get that back. Well, with editing, you'll find a lot of times you want to be able to get things back. You want to adjust. And so we work with, with these uh, layer masks, and that's what was just happening a moment ago. I'm going to come down here. So we've got our adjustment layers that we've been working with, and those are fabulous. We're going to play with a layer mask now. And I'm going to hit B for the brush tool, and I've got black and white that are popping up. Black will hide my layer, and white, if you hit X, by the way, that will toggle back and forth, white will bring it back. So that's a really powerful tool that we can start using here in our projects. So watch again as I switch to black what happens. See over here on this layer mask how that has dropped down and you can see the black that it's simply hiding that layer and I can always come back to it. I can go do whatever I want and then I can come back to it. And I'm just going to hit X and, and I can make my brush bigger. Um, if you look next to the letter P on your keyboard, you'll see two brackets and those will make my brushes bigger and they'll make them smaller. Um, and so we can work with that. And then we also have over here, um, oh, not under file, right here, um, I can change my brush hardness. So right now I've got it down to zero and it gives me a nice soft feathered effect where you can't really detect hard edges. However, if I change this and increase my hardness, that gives me a solid edge. And that's a completely different style. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can do some cool different things um, with these layer masks. Um, you can blend images together and really mingle the pixels, or you can have hard edges depending on what you're looking to do. So those are a couple of really cool things that can help you in your projects.